what is up guys kt entertainment here and i know i haven't posted a video almost all week um i was posting videos last week like eight days straight so that was quite a bit for me so i took a bit of a break i kind of and then well i was gonna make videos this week but then i got kind of too lazy and i was like and eh, do i really want to and then i decided not to but I today I was just like nope screw it I gotta make one so I'm making one today and after this video I will not be posting another one until Monday because doing those eight videos in a row last week kind of took a lot out of me so that's kind of why I didn't um, post another video this week because I was kind of dreading making another one but that and also I can't lie I've been playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 on the Xbox one which I really enjoy I was grinding for like 80,000 so I can get the Han Solo um, solo movie skin for Han Solo and I finally got it so I was excited and yeah and I'm actually I actually want to see if this will work now I can't keep promising games because every time I do this something happens and then I can't play it like Five Nights at Freddy's 1 like when I made the trailer um, I was playing the game but then all of a sudden when I tried to play the game again, it wouldn't record the gameplay. So I don't know why. But I do want to get another horror game for you guys to see because horror games are real fun for people to watch when you get to see someone else get scared. So I'm working on getting a horror game set up to play so you guys can watch. But um, let's hurry up, get into this video, and let's move on to the next place oh i gotta click the thing okay so let's go we i think the last episode we did route 11 so i think now we can make our way up um oh it's because we have the move cut now all right so we're gonna go back through here oh yeah by the way you guys are probably noticing i do not have a face cam for this episode because my phone is dead Yes, I use my phone for doing that. Oh, we're in here. Let's try and use that new thing we got. Let's use the item finder. Nope, there's no response. Huh. Let's try it right here. Nope, no response. Hold on, let's go down more. So let's go right here. Let's go bag. Item finder. Nope, no response. Let's try here. Nope, no response. Let's try here. <laughs> huh. So there's nothing down here. Why do then why do they keep saying that um people might drop stuff here? Cause I swear there used to be something down here. I'm not the only one who knows this, right? <laughs> Alright, well, I guess there's nothing down here. I don't know why. Is it this one? Hi, do you... Oh, no. Oh, yeah. We do have Shazam. He's pretty high level. So, now that we have cut... Oh, yeah. Let's check out the daycare. Because I think we have someone in there. And he might have been leveling up a lot while we've been gone. I think it was Paris, I think. Oh, yeah. I keep getting off topic. Um, There's no face cam for this video because my phone's dead. And I used my phone to record my face. So, I was like, uh, I'll just use the microphone then. Which means it's a terrible microphone, which you guys probably noticed. Okay, so just to find out what level that Pokemon is at, we're going to put a Pokemon away. So, let's deposit. Um, let's put Pikachu away. And let's figure out who was still in the daycare. Your emerald has grown quite a lot. Quite a lot, I'd say. Let me see. It's grown by four. Aren't I great? You owe me $500. You know what? Fine. We'll take them back. Honestly, I don't know why we put emerald in there. I kind of forgot. But let's see what he's at, I guess. Oh, he's level 18 now. All right, well, we'll just store him. And then we will take out... 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 18. <laughs> Alright, well then let's... 
Oh, we can't move him. Evolved. Oh, this is evolved. And this is current. Right, we'll, t we'll take back out Pikachu, because we need to um, evolve him, by the way. A lot of people are probably like, no, what are you, stupid? You can't evolve him. Why would you evolve a Pikachu? But, um, it's got to happen. There's no other way. So, let's get going. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we go up there, I just remembered we can, um, we can go up here to the, the science place. Now that we have the move cut. So let's do that. Am I in the wrong place? I'm in the wrong place. I was thinking of Cerulean. Wait, this is Cerulean. Then it's Pewter City. Pewter City is the one I was thinking about. But we do need to... Alright. Wow, I am not on a roll right now. Alright, so let's go this way. And let's use Cut. This tree looks like it can be cut down. Would you like to cut it? Yes. Charcoal used cut. Oh, God. Okay, so we gotta verse some people. Alright, then. Um, let's fight. Uh, you have Pokemon with you. You're mine. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to fast forward. This depends on how far we get in this video and how long the video is. That's basically when I determine whether I'm gonna fast forward battles or not. Is if, let's say, the video's like 30 minutes long. Then I might fast forward some battles. So that the time... So that the time of the videos will go down some. Because the higher the video um, length, the more or the longer it takes for me to upload it. But, um, it depends on and that and it also depends on how many trainers there are. If there's like 20 trainers, then clearly I'm going to fast forward because... I know some people like to see trainer battles, but I'm pretty sure some want to see progress more into the story than just 20 battles every episode. Unless you do like seeing that because you like seeing the Pokemon level up. And I just realized we keep using Shazam so much that he's probably going to overpower the team. Which means after this trainer, we're going to switch to another one. So let's just get rid of this last Bellsprout. Oh yeah, <laughs> we defeated Pignacur Alicia. You deceived me. Yeah, we sure did, and we didn't take any damage. Okay, Pokemon. Let's take out... we we'll do Luko. I don't think we used Luko that much recently. So, let's use... Let's use Luko. And then we might use Charcoal, because I gotta keep remembering that Charcoal was our first Pokemon, so we can't leave him behind. Aerial Ace. Luko, I think we just found you another move. Okay, um... Aerial Ace. Let's see, what kind of moves does, does he have? He has Peck, which is 3,500. An extremely fast attack against one target. It can't be evaded. Um, yeah, we'll get that. <laughs> we'll replace Peck. We'll go for God Peck. And slap it on his forehead. Luko learned Aerial Ace. That's amazing. Alright. If only if only Luko could learn Rock Tomb, that'd been great. So, let's take down this guy with Luko. Wahaha, great. I was bored, eh. So, I forgot. How far is Jacob? If there's people in my subscriber count who also watches Jacob's or Animal 56's playthrough since me and him are technically um we're technically doing a challenge to see who can beat the game first and I think he may be farther than me at the moment he hasn't really posted videos much because he's sort of on like a vacation type thing so he's not really making videos at the moment 
but I do know that when he does, he definitely surpasses me in just about everything. Oh, that, and I do want to um, give a big thanks to, if I'm correct, 32 subscribers now. I'm, like, super excited that we got 32. Okay, let's use Fury Attack. Oh, God, that's not doing anything. Oh, at least we got the five hit. He's gonna use Rock Tomb. Oh. You know what, let's just go ahead and do Pursuit. Watch me be real stupid, and then someone's gonna, like, comment and say, like, Oh, you could've used the flying move, and it'd be super effective. But at the same time, I'm like, wait, no it's not, because Rock's effective against flying types. I don't know what I'm talking about. I ain't played Pokemon in so long that I don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, also, I did um, download Pokemon Ash Gray, even though that's just a replay of Kanto again. Um, originally, I think after me and Jacob beat Fire Red and Leaf Green, we was going to head to Johto, then we was going to head to Hoenn, and then Sinnoh. Well... I don't know if Jacob would. I mean, I have those games, so if we really wanted to, we could play Kanto, do Johto, do Hoenn, and do Sinnoh. Or if you guys want to see a different type of game like Ash Gray. And I also have Pokemon Light Platinum. I'm pretty sure people's heard of that one. That game's pretty fun. <laughs> it's like really, really... Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's huge. It's got like two regions in one game. Well, so does Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but this game is massive, and the guy who made it did such an incredible job. Read Darren. Oh yeah, I've been recently watching his videos too. If you guys, um, if you guys haven't seen already, um, I've done also a collaboration with Jason Reed Darren. And I think you guys should really check it out. It's really cool. Okay, so they're sending out a fire type. So then, yeah, let's just do Luko. So yeah, um, Jason Reed Darren. Yeah, he's recently posted some videos recently. He, recently, he did the Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Which is a really fun game. Which, if you guys like that type of game, you guys should check out his channel too. I will have... Jason Reed Darren's channel in the description if you guys want to see Total Accurate Battle Simulator or Simulation, I think. And then I also have Emeralds 56 so that you guys can watch his Leaf Green playthrough because we are currently in a battle. I got up early every day to raise my Pokemon from cocoons. Okay. Wait a minute. Who's cocoon or cocoons? Because I don't think real animals exist in Pokemon, right? So then who's Cocoon? Did we find a secret that's like never been implemented before? Like that makes me wonder because you don't see deer, you don't see frogs, like I'm talking about regular animals. So what does it mean by Cocoon? What? What a total waste of time. Well, I mean, you are versing a legend, kid, so... Oh, there's grass here. Um, I think we're gonna skip out on trying to catch all Pokemon in this episode. Oh yeah, I need to let everybody know that as well. We are probably not going to do... Um, at the moment, the Pokedex stuff. I know that some people might think that that's real fun, or really cool is catching every single Pokemon, but I think for the moment, we're just going to go as far as we can into the game, and then maybe later we'll do some Pokedex hunting, but I do know we need to do some so that um, I can get the XP share.
because the XP share is something that I'm really looking to getting because the XP share will come in handy. And I forgot how many Pokemon you needed to um how much Pokemon or how many Poke how many Pokemon in your Pokedex that you need to get the XP share. So hopefully by the time we do find the XP share guy, we will have enough. And there goes Luko. Right when he was about to evolve. Or not evolve, but level up. Let's use... Charcoal. Now, I'm probably talking way too much than I usually have while playing the game. But that's probably because, um, because I don't have a face cam. I don't have to worry about, like, zooming out of my face and all this extra stuff. So, it's kind of easy to, that I can just say and do whatever I want while doing this. But, at the same time, I am actually playing this while you guys are watching this. Um, trying to figure out what happened to my, um, revives. I don't have revives. Alright, All right. well then let's go to Pokemon, and let's put Charcoal up top. Because I did say we need to um, get his level up some more. But yeah, I'm talking a lot more than usual. And, um, go, my super bug Pokemon. Alright, these are bug types, so we can just use Ember. <sighs> oh, I had an idea for the um, horror game, like I said, idea. If you guys have ever watched Markiplier play um, Joy of Creation, if you haven't, I recommend you watch that video because that is a video that I think would be really fun to play. It's a Five Nights at Freddy's fan game, but it's so good that it looks like its own game. And watching Markiplier play it and seeing the gameplay mechanics of how it works looks super fun. And it makes me really want to play it. So you guys should let me know if you guys would like to see a Joy of Creation playthrough. Also, um, I recently got the... The Xbox deal thing where you get um, the Xbox Live or no Xbox Game Pass Ultimate I got the Game Pass Ultimate and apparently they got a new beta thing going on where I can play some of my Xbox games on my computer which means maybe I can download some of those games onto my computer and we can play some Xbox games on here of course it's limited to a certain amount of games that you can play that are available. So, if I can get them to work and the audio looks good, I might get us some Xbox One gameplay. I think State of Decay 2 is a um, is part of that, and I do play State of Decay 2, but I don't know how that would look on this computer because. Well, I do have a laptop, and it's not really that good, so that's why I'm limited to a certain amount of games. Which means, eventually, if I ever get, like, a better computer, maybe we could do some higher, bigger games without having to risk the, the lag going on. But, oh my god, why do we keep missing? But, I don't know, it's just an idea. And I am really getting peed off right now because why is this not working? Ugh. <laughs> this sand shirt is really... I'm trying not to curse as much. Because I found out, I know there's a lot of people that watch my channel right now and they know me. Or they know the real me and... Seeing me like this is probably like a complete shock to them because I'm like a completely different person while I'm on here because I can just say whatever I want. But 
I think I know now that I'm still limited to a certain amount of things because I do have a lot of people that I care of that watch this and I really don't want to set a bad impact. Okay. Acid. The foe is sprayed with a harsh hide melting acid that may lower defense. Does 40? Um, no. Stop learning acid? Yes. Did not learn acid. But yeah, like I said, there's some people that watch my channel that I know. And I do think that I should be cautious of. So... So I may not be as free talkative as I am but I will try to keep as much funny stuff that you guys think is funny already just trying to um, you know use it in a different way now, what was I talking about oh yeah state of decay 2 yeah I play state of decay 2 um I'm actually really far into it. I just recently downloaded the DLC for Heartland. If you guys have Xbox Game Pass, you can get State of Decay 2 for free downloaded. And they have a free DLC that you can download through Game Pass, which is the Heartland Game Pack. Which means if, you, if anyone has played the first State of Decay game and you guys really enjoyed it, apparently they have the map of State of Decay 1 and State of Decay 2 except everything you can do is well State of Decay 2 stuff like they added all the the zombie threats that were already in State of Decay 2 like the Juggernaut, Bloater, Screamers they have those in the State of Decay 1 map in case there's people who are like oh well I like the first game but I like how the second game plays well they mix them together so if you enjoy that or if you really like that then go go get game pass you can actually get game pass ultimate your first month for one dollar which i think everyone should take advantage of because this is well it says everyone can get their first month the first month for one dollar so i think it's really a great deal for getting the first month for one dollar because that's what i did and I actually got lucky on mine because um, before I got that Game Pass thing, I spent um, probably, probably like $15 on like two months of, no, three months of Game Pass. Uh, yeah, I spent, I got, I had three months of Game Pass and one month of Xbox Live. And it ended on June 10th. Well, June 10th came and my Xbox Live ran out. But I still had two months of Game Pass left. So then that's when uh, the Game Pass Ultimate came out. It came out right when my um, Xbox Live went out. And it said first month, first month for $1. So I did the, um, the $1 one month. Well, because I had two months of Game Pass still uh, left um, before I got the Game Pass Ultimate, it combined the two months that I had before with the new month and gave me three months of xbox live so yeah that's pretty cool so if, so if somebody out there has game pass but you don't have xbox live let's say you have like three four months of game pass if you get this you'll get one month plus the months you already had and it'll add more xbox live to your gameplay or to you so that is actually super cool so if anyone has game pass but you don't have Xbox Live, do the Game Pass Ultimate, and you'll get free months of Xbox Live. Especially because, yeah, the first one's a dollar, so you could set it up that way if you really wanted to. If you just wait for having a whole bunch of Game Pass months and then get that, then you can get all those months just by spending one dollar. So, it's kind of more like a manipulation, and I don't know whether I'm lucky or if I wasn't supposed to get all that. But either way, I'm excited. And I'm glad I got it. Oof, super effective. Uh, 
it's weird how I'm all of a sudden quiet now when almost this entire episode I was talking. Just because I'm trying to think of whether I should stop talking about other stuff or just focus on Pokemon since we're playing Pokemon right now. But there's not much to think about when you're talking about Pokemon because, well, you try to think that, oh, would well, this be cool to talk about? Then you realize someone else has already done it. I just thought it'd be cool that I let you guys know about stuff that's going on and stuff that everyone can um, listen to if you haven't heard of. So it's kind of like I'm letting you guys know what's going on around the world while we're playing Pokemon, which is kind of cool. But if you guys don't want me to talk about all this other stuff and you just want me to maintain the Pokemon aspect while we're playing these games, let me know. And I'll stop talking about other stuff while playing Pokemon. Then I've also been thinking, um... Mm, well, I lost my thought now. I was trying to think of something. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. We just should already be halfway through Pokemon. <laughs> Like, for real. I'm sitting here thinking, and I'm like... I'm like, we're not even... We don't even have our fourth badge yet. And... <laughs> Wait, how many badges are there? Six badges? Eight badges? I think just eight badges. Eight badges? Yeah, this, this just shows how... How bad I am at Pokemon knowledge. Uh, well, either way, we should already be halfway, but we've, I've stretched this game out too long that it's ridiculous. We should not be this far behind. <laughs> and this Meowth is kicking my butt. Yeah, go down. Alright, Gloomy is level 25. We really need to get to a station. Player defeated Pignature, Picnicker, Caitlin. No, you're too much. I know. So let's. Oh, Route 10. Oh, great. Pokemon Center. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Would you like to heal your Pokemon? Yes, please. <laughs> I'm so glad there's a there's a thing here. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to health. We hope to see you again. Yeah, I know. You really hope that I come back, my Pokemon are dying, so you can get paid. I get it. Alright, Gloomy. Let's put you down here. I guess we'll bring Pikachu back out. Do I really want to go in there? Oh, uh, that's a trainer, probably. What is up here, is what I'm wondering. Oh, is there nothing up there? Oh, this is just for, um, fishing and stuff. Oh, no, you can take the stream. If you just keep going all the way down. Oh, yeah, that brings you somewhere else. Well, let's fight her. I've been out at a Pokemon gym a few times, but I always lose. Well, maybe your Pokemon suck. Watch her defeat me. Pignicker Heidi. Pikachu on Pikachu. Hmm? Let's see who has the stronger Pikachu. Of course. <laughs> How can a Pikachu get paralyzed? Oof. Huh. Now we're both paralyzed. Oh, are you serious? Oh, okay, good. That's me. <laughs> oh, yeah, you missed. Oh, come on. If you get taken out by someone else's Pikachu, then 
That's gonna suck. Yeah, that's right. Get down. Clefairy. Hmm. Wasn't Clefairy supposed to be the main Pokemon of of the anime? I heard. I kept hearing about that, and that there was a whole bunch of um. There's a whole bunch of things going on about how there was clues and proof that Clefairy was supposed to be the the head of Pokemon. But people fell in love with Pikachu so much that they just everyone was just like, nah, Pikachu is the, the mascot now. Oh wow. Of course, we're immobilized by love. Let's switch to charcoal. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Mega punch. Oh, wow. Player defeated Pinnaker Heidi. Oh, after all my training. Well, I mean, your Clefairy was really good. But you really need to execute more on your Pikachu. Oh, and more Pokemon's never designed to heal your Pokemon. Yes, take my dying Pokemon so you can get paid. It's kind of weird how there's no um, Clefable standing beside her when you can clearly put one right beside her if you really wanted to. There's room. Which would have been a really cool touch if they did, but I think that's because this game came out way before Clefable was the main Pokemon of Nurse Joys in the anime. Alright, but let's... Wait, what is this place? Rock Tunnel. Detour to Lavender Town. Oh boy. Oh, this place. <sighs> Where's the Flash thing? What, isn't there supposed to be a move for Flash? I forgot. <laughs> Let's check this Pokemon Center first. Oh, KT, I've been looking for you. It's me, one of the ever-present aides of Professor Oak. If your Pokédex has complete data on 20 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward from Professor Oak. And trust me with this Everstone. So, KT, let me ask you. Have you gathered data on at least 20 kinds of Pokémon? Yes. Great, you've caught our own 30 kinds of Pokemon. Congratulations, here you go. Great, we got an Everstone. For when we ever needed, which I doubt. Basically prevents evolution. The types of Pokemon match up differently with each other. Every type is stronger than some types and weaker than others. <laughs> a Nugget is totally useless. I sold it for $5,000. That's a lot of money, sir. Hold on, do we have Flash? I thought we had the move Flash. We don't. Oof. Um. I don't even know how many minutes this is because my phone's dead and I have I don't have a timer. Oh gosh, it's been 33 minutes, almost 35. Okay, well, actually, I think this is pretty good because I'm probably not going to be able to um, scratch anything off because I've been talking through the whole thing. So, I guess we're just going to have to leave it off here. So, um, thank you everyone for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video. And I will see you guys with another video. And it might as well be another Pokemon video because I feel like we need to hurry up, get through this game, because we have waited long enough to, to, to beat this game. So I will see you guys Monday with another episode of Pokemon Fire Red.